Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back once again to uh, TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name's Mark Love, and uh, we're gonna start out a little bit different today. I'm showing you a 2021, this is a London Air 4543 floor plan. Uh, stock number is 5N210098. And I want to show some things in here on the dash and some of the cool things about the London Air before we uh, move outside. A um, couple of things, I'm going to start this up in a second, but maybe you can get a shot of the camera system over here, Jody. This has got the 10 inch monitors and it's got what they call the 360 camera. You get the bird's eye view. You can set this up to look uh, both right and left. Uh, you can put it just on the rear. So great camera here. And of course, like all the new Mars, I'm gonna go ahead and start this one up. Uh, this is equipped with comfort drive. See how that wheels squaring up? Um, we've explained this before, but basically this is a computer assisted steering mechanism, sensing torques and road, or uh, you know, crowns and road, the torque on the wheels, the side winds, and it's gonna bring the wheel back to the center position on its own. I'll demonstrate that now. See how easily this wheel turns. And right now we don't have levelers down. All of the weight's on the front wheels and it returns right back to center every time. The difference that's gonna make on a long drive, you're really only steering in one direction. It comes back on its own. You're not fighting the wind to keep the wheel straight. It's not so much of a white knuckle ride. Uh, this chassis is also equipped with the steerable tack tag axle and we'll talk about that a little more when we're outside but the thing I really wanted to show you about this uh, here at the dash is the leveling system you've got two leveling systems so I'm gonna scroll up right now to air leveling now we're on quite a, uh, a slope here both from left to right and from back to front and uh, I could hit the air leveling now and just auto level from here, but I want to go down and show you a little bit more about it. So if we go to this screen, you can see our bubbles are out of level, particularly from front to back. This is uh, kind of how high they are uh, riding right now. I'm going to scroll down here to auto level and just hit OK. And it'll take a few minutes, but you can see the leveling is active. And look how these numbers are changing. Maybe if you go outside and kind of get a view of what's happening here. Now, if you notice how it's raising right here, and they've actually lowered it in the back to uh, accommodate this slope. But you don't always have to use your hydraulic levelers to level. This slope, although it's a pretty good one, it's not too much for the air leveling to work. When this finishes, I want to shut the engine off. Maybe if you don't mind, Jody, you can step in again and we'll show them the, how much it's adjusted it. So as you can see, we're still going through the leveling. We have raised the front three inches on the right. Right now, 1.8 on the left. We've dropped the rear. We're negative 2.7 and 2.3. So now we're reaching our limit here. They're dropping the rear a little bit more. And uh, you know, it takes a couple of minutes, but it's uh, it's just a nice feature. You can see how our bubbles are. And we're not perfectly level. I'm gonna go ahead and exit right now so I can turn the engine off and go outside. A uh, Couple other things while we're right here. Oops, let's exit that. And then get out of here. A couple other of the things that, that you have that are nice, we'll go down, you know, trip mileage you want to set, but you've also got your 
tire pressure monitoring system. See, we should be around 120 pounds on our front tires, 80-ish on the back, a little bit more on the tag axle. So that's uh, always active as you're going down the road. It'll let you know if you have a low tire and to go ahead and uh, stop and fill that up. Nice glass dash too, very easy to, to read. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off now. And let's step outside once again and we'll kind of walk around the uh, compartments. Oh, where did we go? Again, this is a London Air 4543. It's on a Spartan chassis and they are built exclusively on a Spartan chassis, the K3 chassis for 2021. Uh, some of the options that I always like to point out, you have fuel fills on both sides of the coach and they are protected by a steel plate in here. So your rubber uh, fuel line doesn't get torn up. If you should blow a tire and shred it, this is actually protecting your fuel line. Uh, Again, we have the Girard awnings, and this is just a beautiful setup. It's a full-length awning, two separate ones. There's one for the door, too, that I haven't uh, run out right now. But the way these come down and articulate, uh, you know, keeps the rain running off. If the wind should pick up, it's got automatic sensors on it. Uh, I'm going to unlock my compartment doors right here. Let's go ahead and see what we've got underneath. This is our Dometic freezer. A couple of nice features here. Number one, look how far out you can pull it. So when you lift these, you're not hitting your, uh, your slide on top. And also, you've got two sides for this. Maybe you want to have one side for your drinks, and the other side, keep your frozen meat in there. Over here is a pass-through compartment. Now, on your King Airs, on your Essex, you're gonna have probably a slide-out tray here, and it's gonna be uh, an electric slide-out tray. In the London Air, they are options, so you don't automatically get the electric one. And I kinda like leaving one or two of these compartments without a tray, because you lose uh, room, you know, the height of that tray, and on each side you lose a little bit of storage. So having an open compartment uh, without a tray isn't a bad thing in my mind. Over here we do have our manual slide out tray and this will come in and out from either side. They actually put a, an extra shelf right here that gives you a little bit more storage. You know, if you've got your Tupperware bins in, they can only be as tall as the chassis. So you're kind of wasting this space up here. So it's nice to have that extra shelf. While I'm here, I'll show you the 43 inch TV. Now, this TV this year actually pulls out and tilts down. So it helps uh, with the glare problem if you're out here watching a game. Got the Bose sound bar with it, and they're kind of tall. <laughs> Oops, we did that one. Let's move back here. And a uh, couple of things I want to point out in this compartment. Number one, you have your, your central vac system, and there's hookups inside. Here's your hoses in this bag, but it's nice to be able to plug it in here and vacuum out your compartments. Also, over here, you've got a couple of slide-out uh, controls, uh, uh, you know, your electronics here. Nine times out of ten, if you're having an issue with the slide, you can unplug it right there, wait about ten seconds, plug it back in. It's like resetting your computer. And then one last thing I'm going to point out, uh, the Star Foundation, which is this setup here, um, maybe it'll be better. Well, you can kind of see it here. The thing that's unique about the Star Foundation, 
is your floor joists aren't sitting on the chassis rails. They're up above them. So the way they gusset it down uh, to the main rails, come out, it supports the sidewalls, more support for your storage compartments. You have a stronger platform so it's not twisting and warping as you go down the road. You're not popping grout and you know cracking tiles from uh, hitting a big pothole on the road. This compartment has a, uh, a water tank or a component behind it, but they put the nice pegboard in there and some shelves for tools or oil or, you know, I've heard some people say it could be your outside bar. I prefer to keep my uh, beverages cold, but uh, whatever you find use for. And you notice it does have docking lights, both up front on the side here nice if uh, you know you're trying to get something out at night look how low we're riding right now because we did that air leveling this actually dropped down below the ride height level you'd never really want to drive like this although if you are pulling it in let's say a garage where you've got a low header and you want to dump all of that air out to get down as low as you can and then crawl into the garage that's a nice feature to have and again, steerable tag axle. I think this year Spartan has a 17 degree cant on the tag axle. So that really tightens the radius when you're, uh, you know, backing into a tight spot at a park or you need to turn around. Very nice feature. Here we have a def fill. Let me point out another thing unique to the Spartan chassis. Of course, this has got four airbags on it and you've got a compressor on board, but what if you were to lose that compressor or something? You can air up your system right here manually. So, uh, you know, say we are at ride height, your compressor's not working, I can, or at tra uh, camping height, I can air this up to ride height manually without having to use the onboard compressor if that should have an issue. And then of course in the final compartment, we have our chassis starting batteries here, your air dryer, your water separator, a couple of big 150 amp bus fuses that uh, you know turns on your main power for the chassis. Moving to the back, Let me pop the hatch here. This is our. Cummins 605 horse, uh, it's got 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. This is a beast. This is about the biggest engine you're going to find on, on your buses, on all your big high-end diesels. Without having the radiator in the back, it makes it really easy to access things. This is your Oasis fluid, which is your hydronic system. Uh, you've got your uh, oil. Uh, dipstick for the oil, this is where you would fill it. This is your transmission uh, dipstick and you actually fill it here. Back here we've got our air gauge monitor. That is uh, telling me how dirty this air filter is. As that builds up, you know, it's taking more pressure to draw the air through. It's letting you know it's time to change this air filter. Probably one of the most overlooked things on the RV in general is that, is that air filter. Now, it's a 54,000 pound chassis and it weighs 46,300 empty. That leaves us 7,700 pounds of cargo capacity. Uh, of course, you know, you got 105 gallons of water, that's a little over 800 pounds, all your gear and everything, but that's a lot of cargo capacity. Plus, you have a 20,000 pound rating on this tow hitch. So the combined weight is 74,000 pounds on this. Uh, you also have a curb brake controller. Here's a common seven way. This is for your air brake system. And on the dash, I didn't point it out, but you have a controller for your curt brake control, which is an option and we put it on pretty much all of our Spartans. So if you're pulling a trailer uh, with electric brakes or air brakes, you're all set up for it here. Okay. Again, you see the big side radiator, like most of your larger engine diesels will have. 
better cooling than a rear radiator as the air goes by here. You don't get as much dust that in the back, how the, the kind of curls around when you go, the air goes past the body and collects on that radiator. So uh, better cooling on something like this. And then here's your other fill for the depth. So it doesn't matter what side of the gas pump or the def pump you pull up to, you can fill from both sides. That's just another little storage compartment here. Again, you know, you might have oil or tools or something you don't want to bring in the coach. There was room there, so they, Newmark kind of built that in. Another thing that's new in 2021 is this bulb seal and it seals out the water better, both on the inside and the outside. You can see this is the full wall slide. I like the way they continue the paint job around. That's our exhaust for the diesel, and you, or for the generator, and you do have a, a 12,500 watt diesel generator. Here's your water compartment, and uh, you know, great look. I like the stainless steel, full house water filter. This is your, your fresh water, whether you're running off the city water, you wanna fill your, uh, your tank manually or from the city water. You can switch it down here if you're filling up manually. This is your sewer rinse. You got valves to uh, open and close to rinse your tank pump switch you can turn on and off right here and a monitor for uh, all three tanks that's kind of nice when you're filling it putting fresh water in to know how full your tank is then of course you do have a power uh, water hose reel and then your outside shower place for paper towels very well thought out very clean look uh, you know again Numar slogan when you know the difference this is part of uh, what you can see in their water closet This is our 50 amp uh, shore cord, again on a power reel. Uh, new for this year too are the LED lights they put in the side of the compartments. So when you open the door, they come on automatically. Also, you do have a surge protector back there, or it's your transfer switch with a built-in surge protector. And then down here, maybe you're at a place that you've got park cable and you wanna bring it up and and plug it into your system or maybe just watch the local TV if they have cable, you do that right there. This is our hydronic heating system. Now Numar uses the Oasis. It's a cleaner burning, quieter, more efficient system that provides your, your uh, furnace heat, your hot water, uh, engine preheat, things like that. It's a 50,000 BTU Oasis system, and I'll talk a little bit more about that inside when we go over some of the uh, monitor panels. This again is the back of uh, the slide out tray, and again, manual one, it'll pull out all the way on this side. You can kind of see that, that star foundation up there. That stands for strong, true, and robust, by the way. And the way uh, Numar will actually build their floor, their floor is on a separate table, completely laid under a tarp, dried for 24 hours, and then lifted over and set down on the star foundation. And when we're there welding that star foundation, I mean, you can put a theodolite on it, and it is perfectly dead level. It just makes for a, a better platform. You don't have issues going down the road with your cabinets starting to sag or doors that don't close right or tiles that are cracking. Again, your pass-through compartment, and I pointed out I like having an open one. You could get a small slide-out tray for that, but you know, you've got a lot of room there, so you might as well use it all. Here is our house batteries. Now there's eight AGM batteries. That tells me this is an all-electric coach with an induction cook surface and a residential 
19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. Again, on a slide out tray, so it makes it easy. With the slide in and that tray out, it's easy to walk up and, and change those batteries if you need to. Another fuel fill on this side, again, protected with the steel plate. And this front compartment is a lot of your chassis circuits. Now, there is a, a switch here to extend your generator, but you do have to have the ignition on. I don't right now, so I'm not gonna run that out. But it is a 12.5. I made a mistake. That, that exhaust down there is for your aqua hot. This is the exhaust for your generator here. Uh, but again, a 12.5 diesel generator that runs off the fuel tank. And uh, the nice thing about that is you're not gonna run out of uh, diesel if you're out dry camping. You'll always have hot water and everything or be able to turn on your air conditioners. All of these circuits are labeled too. So if your blinker's not working, maybe the uh, passenger seat's not working, you can come find the, uh, the fuse. They give you some uh, replacement fuses here very well thought out and even the handy little extendable uh, windshield washer it's hard to reach the top of that unless you're an NBA player there we go and again you've got cameras here on both mirrors it is uh, you know, the, the 360 camera system, so you have a lot of different views. Also, up front here, this, uh, this little component here is part of your collision mitigation system. So this has lane assist and lane warning. If you go outside, it helps nudge you back. It gives you warnings if you're getting too close to uh, uh, vehicles in front of you. If you're on cruise control, it'll actually slow down for you and apply the brakes if necessary. So a lot of safety built into these uh, units. Again, I pointed out 5N210098, the stock number. This unit came in a week ago and it actually already has a deposit on it. Looks like it's going to be sold, as so many of our units are. But one of the things that uh, I wanted to talk about a little bit, this unit has a trade, and it's a good trade. It's a 2021 Dutch Star 4081 model. And so many of our units have that kind of trade. We also have another used 2021 4328 model on the lot. That unit has less than 4,000 miles. And the way business has been and, and the whole COVID craziness of the year, uh, a lot of these units are actually deposits on them before they arrive at the lot. Now, a deposit, it kind of gives you a right of first refusal. If you get here and say, oh, I, done, I didn't think it was this floor plan or I don't really like the color, you don't lose that deposit. But if you want to make sure you've got something reserved to camp in this summer, you might want to consider you know, looking at what we've got coming in or ask us about the used ones. We have another 2021 uh, Ventana, which would be the step below the Dutch Star, and that's a 4369 floor plan. We've got a lot of good used stuff either here or on its way. We have a 2018 Allegro bus, 45 footer. Uh, you know, just a handful of things, so I encourage you to reach out to us and ask what's coming in, and if, if you know what you're looking for, maybe we can sort of reserve one for you in advance. Let's go ahead and go back inside now and look at the floor plan. Go ahead, Jody, I'm gonna come in after you and get the generator on. Okay, uh, now that we're inside and I can shut the door and be a little bit quieter, I'm going to go ahead and start up my generator, talk about a few other features in the electronics. Up here, uh, this is our Silverleaf system, and they have a, a new interface. Now it'll take, oh, 30 seconds or so for that 
transfer switch to sense is the power coming from the short cord from the generator or whatnot. But with the generator running, I want to get the air conditioners on. So I can do them individually, but I've just got all zones uh, set for 73 degrees. It's about 80 in here right now. So that'll kick on in a minute. Uh, let's say that, uh, well, I want to show you the Oasis here. Neat thing about this is I've got two electric elements and then one diesel burner. That's the beauty of the Oasis. You can use it on electric in colder temperatures and still heat the coach. If you're plugged in at an RV park, save your diesel. You can run both electric one and two. You can actually put all three of them on if you come out and it's just bitter cold and you want to heat it up fast. Uh, turn on your burner, turn on both electric elements. So uh, that works really well. Let's get back here and I can hear the the AC starting to uh, kick on, so we'll cool this down a little bit. Uh, this is your WineGuard satellite. This is the control for our uh, awnings outside. We also have window awnings on both the driver and passenger side that come out. Real nice feature. Here's our entry door awning. Um, and then also we have our privacy drapes. These you can actually bring down about this far while you're driving. There's a safety that they won't drop all the way. But you've got blackout screens all the way around. Uh, again, we talked about the camera system a little bit. Uh, it's got the cool bird's eye view, they call it. But, you know, maybe at night you just want to keep an eye on all four sides. And you can do it right there. You know, you can just look forward. Wave to Evan in our control booth. If you're pulling a trailer, you might want to have it on the back all the time. And then actually, you can tilt this back one down. So that's our back bumper. If you've got a hitch right there, you can see the tongue of your trailer and your hitch and line it up exactly without having to go back and forth if you're doing it by yourself. Kind of a nice feature. All right. Well, this is, like I say, one of the true luxury coaches. Uh, all of our 600 horse, uh, you know, on the Spartan chassis. This is the uh, Sable Maple, I believe, the cabinetry. And uh, Numar does a great job. They not only give you a lot of storage, here's our video compartment, but they also, you know, have hidden hinges, nice hardware so you're not seeing them. And I like the contour they put in here. It's not just a flat bank of cabinets going across. Here we've got a uh, jackknife couch. And on the other side, we have a full 78-inch uh, height of bed. Excuse me, that might be an 87-inch height of bed here. So you have two separate sleepers. And uh, yeah, that is an 87-inch height of bed. Uh, monitor panels throughout where I can adjust my lights. For instance, this this wall light here. You know, maybe I want it brighter or turn it way down for just some atmosphere. But I can control all my lights here. Another thing, if I'm sitting down and I want to top, uh, put my TV up, we have a televator here. And there's our main TV for the living area. Well, that's coming up. I'll show you. We've got a nice extension for the kitchen. All of these drawers are soft closed drawers. Nice storage in the cabinets. And this is a nice feature. People that are shorter may have a hard time reaching the very back of a deep cabinet. So they've got these pullouts here. Each one, nice little pull out, and a little storage cabinet here. This has got the uh, stainless steel undermount sink, and I like the way that they actually give you a large one and then a smaller one. Maybe you're just prepping vegetables or something, and then you want to rinse out your big spaghetti pot or something. You have plenty of room here. These are residential style 
uh, fixtures with your sprayer there. Underneath here, we've got a place for your trash can and another pull out. This comes equipped with a dishwasher. Let me see. We need to have 110. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's locked on me right now. Well, I'm not going to mess with it, but that's your dishwater uh, washer right there. Another very deep uh, silverware drawer with you know built-in compartments. Plenty of remote controls. Touch-up paint for outside for your compartment doors and so forth. And again, all soft clothes. They even utilize the small spaces. You know, maybe you can keep knives or something, spices in there. Another one here. And just beautiful cabinetry work. Uh, Numar does all of this in-house. And of course, we have a convection microwave here. And then down below is our induction cook surface. And one of the nice things about this, you can actually lift it out, unplug it, take it outside under your awning and plug it in and cook outside with this induction cook surface. Any uh, anything that a magnet will stick to as far as pots and pans will work with this. So your, your cast iron and so forth is going to work. This is a nice feature of our dinette booth. It's a electric extender booth. And you do have a couple of leafs that go on the table that come out just as far. But this will give you... Our seat is not all the way in there. There we are. And you got your cushion here. So you have enough room for six adults in this model. I'll go ahead and put that back in. While we're looking down here, if you notice, there is tile in the slide out. Uh, it's called more floor, and it's a nice improvement that that Numar made in 2016. Most coaches, uh, you're going to see carpet there, or you know, if it's a plank flooring, they'll have their linoleum down there. This is true tile. Uh, that is a full wall slide. So obviously, it's kind of heavy. But with their star foundation and the way they build these, it can support the weight. A lot of the uh, the appliances are, you know, home style residential appliances. Here's your refrigerator. So you can see why it's so important to have that star foundation and to have something that can support all of this weight. Over here we have a nice pantry. And these used to have locks in it. Now you've got to push out to get it to release. Well, look how deep that is. Those are one, two, three, four, five, six different pull-out trays there. Over on this side, we've got our half bathroom. And look at this door, the way it's hinged in the middle, and it slides. Uh, Numar actually has a patent on this door. When this slide is in, if you have a regular door hinged on the side, you might only get it open this far. A larger person would have a hard time getting into this. And then if we... Uh, Hop in and take a look at our half bathroom. Number one, you've got the porcelain toilet. Back here, fuses and breakers. And you can see how everything is labeled here with what it is. You've got a lot of room. Let me see. Here we go in your uh, medicine chest. 
and uh, one of the you know complaints sometimes about the uh, half bathrooms is the amount of counter space you get on your sink but you can see this is actually rather large put items up there and then you do have some more storage down below a nice little drawer You do have a Fantastic fan in this too. There's three of the uh, powered Fantastic fans in this coach. So it's nice if it's not too hot, you just want to maybe crack a window, draw some air through. Uh, those do a, a great job there. Here in the bedroom, let me uh, get my lights on. You actually have to <laughs> kind of lay down here. Oops, I'm dimming those. Didn't mean to do that and there we go get them all on you could uh shut off your generator turn the whole house lights off if you're laying in bed you can do it there you don't have to get up a couple of windows on the sides and again that's i need to get the remote or that's an electric shade you can see it on the other side uh, you can open those get a nice cross breeze going through here both of your pedestals have a 110 power outlet and a couple of USB ports there. And of course you get some storage down here also. Under the bed here, you can see your two uh, table leaves. Well, you've got a lot of room down there. Across from the bed, we have, uh, I believe this is a 31 inch TV on this side. And again, a lot of nice storage. If you notice, that actually passes all the way through. And another silver leaf control panel. So uh, it's exactly the same as the one up front. You can uh, control it from right here. If I wanted to, I could drop my window awnings uh, here. You have nice big deep drawers and again they're all the soft close feature and there's five of them and then well, I guess six your videos uh, is over here on this one and then stepping back into the master bathroom We have a large shower. I think this one's the uh, the 40 by 34 here. A couple of the great features are this teak seat and also your water miser system. What that is, your aqua view here, it saves you fresh water and it saves you from filling your gray tank very fast. You have 105 gallons of fresh water here, 80 gallons in your gray tank. So when you get in to take a shower, normally you turn that on, you wait for uh, a minute or two for it to get hot. You're wasting how many gallons of water that's going down, filling your gray tank, emptying your, uh, your fresh water tank. With the AquaView, you actually turn it on right here. Uh, you're recycling the water back into the fresh water tank until it gets warm. When that light turns to red, it lets you know that it's hot. You flip the switch, then you take your shower. So you're not wasting as much water in a shower. You're not filling your, your gray tank as fast. Just a, a great feature. And then we also have a little laundry chute. Some nice storage space here beside it. And again, the LED lights come on when you open the door. Here we have our stackable washer and dryer. And then here we've got some nice shelves here uh, on the side in your back closet, all cedar lined. Now I could take maybe three of those shelves out and extend my, my uh, hanging clothes uh, space there. Shoe rack, and then on this side, You've got the safe 
So uh, a nice wardrobe area. One of the unique features to the uh, Numar product is this egress door here. And when you open it up, pull this panel, there's a ladder there that drops down. So in a real emergency where you have to get out of the coach, this is much better than climbing out that emergency window in the bedroom. And this is a one-way door. You can only open it from the inside. And then again, good storage down here. Four very deep drawers. I love the vanity mirror and the, the little accent light there. Maybe, uh, you know, that comes on and off. You have uh, your vanity lights overhead that are adjustable. And then here you have a little bit of a, a medicine chest, but uh, even going through the detail of putting a plug in right there is really nice. Another nice improvement they, they did in 2016 is put in this cathedral ceiling and they lowered the step up platform a little bit. So if you're 6'4", six, 6'5", six, you can get in this shower and not feel like you've got to stay hunched over the full time. This a beautiful decorator ceiling they put here. This actually covers your air conditioning and I can feel the the cold air blowing down right here. Uh, if you notice, we barely hear the generator at all right now. Uh, Newmar does that on all their diesels. You don't see those air conditioning ducts. Usually they're little round ducts placed throughout the ceiling. Uh, another thing they do is they put true ductwork and it's running down the middle of the coach. So if you have all your slides in and you're driving through 110 degree weather in Texas and you want to fire up that generator, use your roof air to help keep it cool for your passengers back here. It's blowing down in the middle where you want it. It's not out over the uh, top of the slide outs as you go down the road. So uh, there's always something I forget. Uh, once again, my name is Mark Love. Uh, here's my contact information. And you can also call or text me directly on my cell phone. Uh, that number is 970-631-0083. Again, 970-631-0083. We had uh, this one come in, I think last Wednesday or Thursday, that's already sold. We have another one on order that's sold, but there is a London Air available. I want to get up here. I got a sheet of paper, and I'd mentioned uh, while we were outside this unit has a 4018, a 2021 Dutch Star. These are some of the used ones, either coming in on trade or already here. We have another 2021 4328 Dutch Star, that one with 4,000 miles, a little under. We have a 2018 Allegro Bus 45 uh, OP. We have a 2019 Essex that just came in on trade, sale pending already. Now, they don't always go, sometimes finance issues or situation changes. We also had a 2021 King Air come in that is already a, a deposit on it. But both of those have trades. I'm not sure what they are, but we can figure out what's coming in with them. We have a 2020 Ventana, that's the 4369 model. And for those of you that might be looking for a really gem of an older coach, some people like uh, not having the DEF and the emission standards. We have a 2007, it's a Monaco Dynasty, the Queen model, 42 foot. There's only 45,000 miles on it. It's a gem of a coach, really a good looking, well kept older coach. So we do have some good trades here. Many of them that just come in, we don't have pictures yet. But, uh, you know, if you're looking for a new one, maybe we can place an order for you, see what's coming in in our first round of the 2022s. We've got a handful of good used ones. Please reach out to us. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help. So once again, thanks for tuning in. I'm Mark Love. Like always, happy trails. Drive safe out there, folks.